Hi everyone, today I'll be showing you how to use this digital humidity meter. It is from Hylic and the mod number is MS6508. And to get started, you just want to press this button, the green button here, which is the on and off button. And as you can see, you will get readings instantly. Uh, the top one part is the relative humidity and the bottom half is the temperature. So let's get started on the buttons here. Uh, the purple purple button with a H on it, uh, that means hold. If you click that once, it will say hold up there. And this basically freezes the screen and you will hold every reading so they won't move around or fluctuate. Press that again and you'll go back to normal. The second button is the minimum and maximum function. So you press that once, you will see maximum on top. What this does is basically it's going to show you the maximum reading uh, for in real time and if you press that again you will get the minimum so it's just basically the opposite it will only show the minimum for each time so just press that again and you're back to normal this meter actually comes with a um, dew point function and a wet bulb so what this does is if you click that you will get the dew point uh, temperature and if you press that again as you see it says wet bulb there uh, you will get the temperature for wet bulb. Press that again and you're back to normal. Also on the left and right here you have uh, a button called memory and a reading button. What this does if you want to store any uh, readings you just click that once and as you can hear the peep that means it's actually stored the readings so to want to check on the readings just click that and as you can see we have 20 readings as of now and you just want to navigate using these two buttons to see the different readings you recorded. To go back to normal, just click this button again, and you're back to normal. Also, there are two last buttons here, as you can see. One is the C and F. This is basically switching between Fahrenheit or Celsius. So you click that once, and then you go Fahrenheit and then Celsius. This button is actually a timer button, and if you click that, a timer will appear on the screen and what this means is actually right now it's on auto power off so if you leave it for a few minutes and you don't use it it's basically gonna turn off by itself so it's very very handy for anyone who's very forgetful uh, press that again and the function goes off and last but not least it comes with a backlight this orange button press that once and you'll get a very bright backlight perfect if you're measuring darker surroundings or during nighttime uh, to snap out of it just there you go, click it once and you're back to normal. So, once you're done, uh, to turn it off, just click the screen button again and you're good to go. Hope you found this video useful and I'll see you guys next time.